Greetings presentation parishioners, happy Friday. I hope everyone continues to do well. We've been having amazing weather for January, so we certainly are blessed with that. I'm standing here in front of one of our word walls on the south side of our new gathering space. So check these out when you come to church next time. Uh, the words around presentation and parishes on the other side, the words came from our dynamic parish event uh, over a year ago when over 700 people were in our church and we came up with words that we wanted to uh, describe our community. And so we have our own word walls now from that event and they're here for us all to see. So words like welcoming and inclusive and community, these are the words that came from everybody's responses. So check these out and let these words inspire you uh, as we continue to be dynamic in the ways that we live our faith. I do wanna mention a couple of things that are, are happening right now. Uh, today, uh, Friday, January 22nd, is set aside as a day of prayer uh, for the legal protection of unborn children and all human life. So this is the anniversary of the Roe v. Wade decision, uh, but the church sets it aside as a day of prayer. So we need to continue to offer our prayers for the most vulnerable among us, especially the unborn, and really recognizing all human life and the ways that we're called to protect that. So spend some special time in prayer today. Join in our nine days novena, nine days for life novena that can be found on our website. Uh, but do something special just to remember this precious gift of life uh, that we've all been given. Uh, make it a, a special day. So we know that just a couple of days ago, uh, we had the inauguration of our new president. Uh, and so we do have a new administration. So regardless of where we all fell in, in regards to the election, uh, we now have that new administration uh, in office. And so one of the things I think all of us should do is just continue to pray for healing and unity in our country. Certainly in the church, uh, we believe the, the purpose of, of, of politics, the purpose of uh, you know, having a society that is ruled by, by politicians is to serve the common good. So let's continue to pray that all of our leaders can serve the common good and work for the good of all people and that all of us unite together as fellow United States Americans. Uh, fellow citizens in this great country. But let's uh, continue to pray uh, for our country. Also, uh, just remember that during this month of January, we're asking everybody to please support our school endowment fund. So it coincides with Catholic Schools Week, which is at the end of January. Uh, but it's just a way for us to build up that endowment so we can continue to offer scholarships for future students uh, coming to our school. Uh, you can give online, you can use the envelope in your January packet. Uh, but please support our endowment through your generosity. Uh, we've been able to increase that uh, substantially over the last several years and we wanna to continue to do so. So please uh, help us support that school endowment fund. Also, just a reminder that this weekend, the third Sunday at Ordinary Time, uh, a couple of years ago, Pope Francis initiated this as Word of God Sunday. Just a time set aside for us to really focus on that Word of God in our life. We hear it proclaimed each weekend we hear it proclaimed every day in scripture, but yet how do we allow that word of God to take root in our lives? It should be something all of us uh, make a part of our daily prayer. So this weekend, let's celebrate that word of God in our lives, that it's active and alive in the ways that we live our faith. But we'll have some special things that are happening this weekend at mass just to recognize that word of God that lives in each of us. Also, we know that we're all excited this uh, weekend. The Chiefs continue to be in the playoffs. I have my my Chiefs mask here. So go Chiefs. We want to all continue to uh, really root for our, our city team. And it certainly brings a little excitement amidst all the uh, uncertainty and sometimes darkness of our world. We have that, that light of knowing our team is doing well. So God bless you all. Know my prayers for you. And I hope to see you soon. Amen.